So if, while we're uh, <clears throat> letting people trickle in <clears throat> before I fire this up. So yeah, this has been a fantastic week because I got my copy of the, what month is this? Summer 1977 issue of Search Magazine, a, uh, the latest at that time of a series of magazines by Ray Palmer, a science fiction writer who is responsible for uh, spreading and in many ways creating a lot of the UFO mythology that dominated the 50s, 60s, and there would be no X-Files without him. And arguably, no UFO ending in Silent Hill either. So uh, yeah, this is a, it's, it's pretty exciting. I, I always really enjoy reading these. Um, it's great to see that uh, kind of mythology at its time of creation. And uh, Ray Palmer himself is just, he's this amazing, just like hustler of, of, uh, of this alternate world, this ulterior reality that uh, undermines everything you know, whether it be uh, the Shaver mystery of the Darrow and Tarot and these sort of like great underground caverns where degenerate robots are controlling our weather or um, UFOs flying in the sky that are both extraterrestrial in origin and also subterranean in origin. Uh, all sorts of just crazy stuff. And uh, it's a pleasure to read. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this one has actually Ray Bradbury in it. And uh, I was really surprised at first to find out that Ray Palmer had scored a Ray Bradbury piece for his uh, Flying Saucer magazine. Wouldn't be unheard of. Um, but it turns out uh, these, this was actually a lecture that Bradbury gave like a year before this publication and probably was reprinted without his permission. So, because uh, that's kind of how Ray Palmer rolls. And uh, I mentioned this on my Twitter. I mean, I love Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury is amazing, an amazing writer, and just a, uh, a fertile imagination. And uh, you can, if you have to be on a treasure island with one book, with, all, with books by one author, because treasure is useless on Treasure Island, uh, <laughs> um, it's, it would be Ray Bradbury. So he's asked, like, why do we explore space? And within the first paragraph, Right? Uh, he's writing, this is what he writes, I have a friend, Chuck Jones, the cartoonist, who calls me all the time with revelations he finds in dictionaries and all kinds of reference books he's reading. He called me on the phone and said, Ray, and I said, what? And he said, did you know? I said, no, tell me! He said, did you know that when they were building the Trans-Egyptian Railroad across Africa 100 years ago and they ran out of fuel, they would stop the locomotive, run into the nearest graveyard, steal mummies out of the tombs, bring them back, shove them into the firebox of the locomotive, and use them as fuel to cross Egypt late at night. And this is like part of Ray, Brad Ray Bradbury's answer to why do we explore space. And uh, that kind of makes him, I mean, he was already my hero, but that kind of just confirms that I'm making a right choice and that uh, my life decisions are valid in a way that I never really appreciated before. So, let's hop on here.